And now, Bright Star with Anita Allen as Susan Armstrong, owner and editor of the Hillsdale Morning Star, and Craig Limekeeler as her ace reporter, George Harvey. There is never a dull moment in the company of George and Susan. They're together now in Susan's living room. This week's episode, Aunt Sophie Plays Matchmaker. I wouldn't care if you own every newspaper in the world, Susan. I will not write a lovelorn column. Oh, George, you're just so stubborn. There's someone at the door. I'll get it. Oh, Susan. Oh, my darling. The Aunt Sophie, this is such a surprise. You might introduce me to that handsome young man. You mean George? George Harvey, this is my Aunt Sophie. How do you do? Good night, Susan. Good night, Mr. Harvey. Why, I'm going to sit right here, Susan, and you're going to tell me all about George Harvey. There's nothing to tell, really. He works for me. He's a reporter, not a very good one. And I detest him. Uh, and Sophie, I'm very tired. I'll make up the guest room and... Uh, now, never you mind all that. We've plenty of time to, to chat. In the few days I'll be here, you get some rest then. And we'll talk about your handsome man in the morning. Good night, dear. George and Susan are at the newspaper office the next day. So, Susan, tell me about the torch you've been carrying for me. For you? Oh, how do you like that? That's what your Aunt Sophie said when she stopped in earlier. Wait a minute. Did she give you a song and dance about how I felt about you? Exactly. One of the oldest tricks in the book. I'd like to teach her a lesson at that busybody, even if she is my favorite aunt. Say, I've got an idea. Does she believe in divorce? Heavens, no. Perfect. We'll let her think her matchmaking plans worked. And then what? I'll have some kid pretend he's my son. Say he wants me to come back to my wife. I'll refuse, insist on marrying you, and we'll let Aunt Sophie stew in her own juices. That's a great idea. Tomorrow night at my house. I'll have everything ready. The next morning at the newspaper office, Susan's ace reporter, George. The next morning at the next morning at the newspaper office, Susan's ace reporter, George, is talking to Sammy, a newsboy. Now, Sammy, you've got our story all set for tonight. I think so. Good. Now run down and see if the printers are playing gin today. Today's the poker game in the stock room. Then how about a quiet little game of gin right here, Sammy? For keeps? <laughs> well, naturally. Nah, so long, Mr. Harvey. Hey, where are you going? I'm going to wait till the day after tomorrow. It's Pinochle with the proofreaders right now. Oh, well. Solitaire isn't such a bad game. Too bad there's no money in it. Later that evening, Susan and George put their plan into action at dinner with Aunt Sophie. Oh, do, do y'all plan to get married soon? The sooner the better. 
And think of all the time we've wasted apart. I'll answer it. And Sophie, I can't tell you how much your help has meant to me and Susan. My dear, the love in, in both of your eyes will keep me happy for the rest of my life. It's someone for you, George. Daddy. Oh, hello, son. Uh, you're late, aren't you? Mama sent me. She says you can't marry this woman because you're still married to her. Married? This is your son? Yes, ma'am. I don't believe you ever told me you were married, George. Slip your mind, George. I, it slipped my mind. I guess I'll ever get a divorce. You might, you don't mind, will you, darling? Of course not, darling. Oh, divorce? No. Tell me you don't mean it. Well, what else is there to do, Aunt Sophie? What have I done? Oh, will you excuse me? I have a terrible headache. I hope we weren't too rough on her, George. How did I do? You are magnificent, Sammy. Do you ever think of a stage career? I'm thinking of that five bucks you promised me. Hand it over. How about waiting until payday? Well, if I gotta, I gotta. But come payday, I'll be looking for you, Daddy. Meanwhile, outside, Aunt Sophia's hiding in the bushes when Sammy walks by. Psst, psst. Young man, young man. Huh? Oh, it's you. My poor boy, I I'm so sorry. I may be able to undo some of the evil I've done. Please take me to your mother. My mother. I may be able to help you and your mother. But we don't want any help. Every boy should have a father and a father's place is in the home. But I already got a father and that's where Pop is at home. He don't hardly ever go out at all. What? Uh-oh, I'm getting all mixed up. I didn't figure on all this when I said I'd do it. Do you mean to tell me that George Harvey isn't your father? No, ma'am, he ain't, but don't let them find out I told you. So this is a joke? It won't seem so funny to them when I'm through. Here's five dollars, young man. Promise me you won't tell them you talked with me. Well, gee, okay, but this is the last time I'm ever gonna try to be an actor. Good morning, Daddy. What? Oh, Sammy, the act's over. You won't forget the payday, will ya? With you around, Sammy, I'm sure I won't. Morning, George. Oh, hi, Susan. <laughs> hey, how was Aunt Sophie about our hoax? I mean, the divorce and all that. She seems resigned to it, George. Maybe we should just tip her off that we're just kidding. This is a showdown, George Harvey. What? Last night, you promised to come home right after work, and you didn't. Well, I followed you here, and now you have got to make your choice. Hey, what kind of gag is this? 
Didn't you tell these people that I'm your wife? My wife? You're nuts. I know what you're trying to pull. This is no way to treat your wife, especially if you're going to divorce her. How can I divorce her when I don't even know her? If you think I am going to give you a divorce, George Harvey, you have got another thing coming. Will you take it easy? This dame's a fake. That's no way to refer to your wife in front of the woman you love. All right, lady. Start talking, and it better be good. Yeah, so it's a gag. I got a call from the employment agency to come down here and make like I was your wife for $25. Who called you? Ah, uh, that dame over there. Uh, oh, she's she's gone now. Oh, Aunt Sophie again. <laughs> How do you like that? George, it would make Aunt Sophie so happy if she thought that her visit had done some good. Like what? Well, like opening our eyes, maybe. Well. I'm the last guy in the world to disappoint a sweet little old lady. Ready for your eye opener? Yes. <laughs> oh, George. And and we'll be back next week with another exciting adventure in the new comedy series, Bright Star. This is your announcer inviting you to enjoy us then.